Hey guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be going over the LR Beerus and Whis card. How to get them from SSR all the way to LR. Now, if you see the screen behind me, or actually in your YouTube video screen, you're going to see the Beerus card. This is the LR Beerus card. So if you happen to pull this guy, he looks like he's in a sitting position with his arms folded. This is going to be the SSR variant of the LR Beerus. So this is the card if you see him, lock him up. Obviously, we do have the new animations that let you know uh, when you get an LR card and it starts to like glow a little bit, so you don't really need to worry about too much, but lock him up as soon as you get it. Um, before we move on, I just want to say please thank you all for subscribing and all my regular viewers. Um, we've been going really strong. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers at this point. Uh, please take this time, if you are new here, to make sure to hit that subscribe button and help support the channel. I would really appreciate it. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Awakened God of Destruction Beerus. He is going to be 100% leader, key plus 400% leader for super strength when he gets the LR. Leader ability right now is super strength uh, type key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 70%. And extreme type key plus 1 HP attack and defense plus 50%. So he's going to be really, really good for those of you who are brand new if you were able to pull him um, against any of the OG events and any of the 70% events. Uh, on top of that, he might even be useful to a couple of the 120 events as a leader. Uh, I would highly recommend getting him Doken Waken before you do any of that, though. But he's a pretty damn decent unit before you even get him to TUR or LR, just because of that leader ability. All of the LRs that have this type of leader ability are really good. On top of that, Super Strength Type has a lot of really strong, good units. So uh, this will definitely come in, in handy if, you don't, if you're lacking an actual leader for them. Super Tech, God of Destruction's Edict, uh, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Wake. Uh, we yeah, wake up workout attack plus 60 percent attack and defense plus 40 percent for three turns after receiving an attack really really awesome passive skill a little bit weak for it but he is the ssr variant so link skills are godly power uh, prodigies the innocence connoisseur and shocking speed category are realm of gods and movie boss uh we're not going to go over the stats until we get to the lr form uh, his 12 key multiplies 140 percent additional attack and defense boost is calculated separately for a total boost of attack was 124 percent for three turns after being attacked once the first three turns are over, the additional attack and defense plus 40% will activate again upon receiving another attack. So you would prefer to have him in the first slot if it hasn't been activated yet. That way he can go and get it activated. In order to awaken him, you need the God of Destruction medals. You need seven of the God of Destruction medals. That's going to be from the seventh universe's God of Destruction event. That's the Beerus event that's over here. You're going to go into this and you're going to fight off against this Beerus over here on level two. Um, this one isn't too bad, it's only, um, two stages, he is purely tech, so Beerus has his link skill, or has a skill called Godly Ganger, Grandeur, uh, which reduces the damage received by the opponent. Pretty much, if you have any of the God Gokus or Whis cards, um, I think it was the Whis cards as well, not the, the Beerus cards as well, um, you'll do additional damage to him, he will not do, have that damage reduction. Unfortunately, it looks like it was taken off of the website. We do have tactics over here. Um, it does look like uh, the best one is going to either be go the Godku card, obviously. Remember that the Intelligence Weiss, uh the Super Saiyan Blue card. Those are going to be the best ones you could run uh, in order to do that. Um, outside of that, uh, Mono Intelligence Team would be good too. Uh, so that's definitely going to help you out. You pretty much just want any of the, uh, the God Goku cards in order to take them on. Um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku, or the Whis cards. Uh, definitely going to make things a little bit easier. I think the Vegeta's in that as well. Uh, I did do a guide on it a long time ago, so go ahead and check that out. Um, once you get seven of them, he does Doken Waken into uh, Confidence and Foresight Beerus, who is now uh, Super Strength Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%, with Extreme Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 60%. Still does Supreme Damage, Passive Skill is now Prophetic Speculation, Attack plus 70%, Attack and Defense plus 50% for 5 turns after receiving an attack, and he gains Fierce Battle. Uh, categories are Realm of Gods and Movie Bosses, and he has a 12 key multiplier of 145%. Additional Attack and Defense is, can, is calculated separately for 155% for 5 turns after being attacked. Same thing, after he's attacked he has 5, uh, he has five full turns of Attack and Defense buff, and then you can reactivate it after he reaches his 5th turn. Um, now, in order to Doken Waken this guy, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. You need these three medals over here from the Battle of Gods event, right? That's going to be this event over here. You're going to need what? The, you need the Beerus, the Whis, and the Vegeta card, or medal. So, let's see over here. Beerus, Whis, uh, Beerus is going to be level from, from stage... Beerus medals are going to be available from level 1, God of Destruction Awakens, Destruction God Awakens. Uh, 
Whis is going to be on stage two. I was going to say Whis. I keep on saying Whis. Um, Whis is stage two. Um, and then Vegeta is going to be level seven or stage seven. Vegeta's pride. Again, that's also for this is all from the uh, Battle of Gods event. You can go into um, where are you? You can go into the Evil Power Strike Back event, the Hero Extermination Plan, Evil Power Strike Back. Go in here and you can go all the way down. Where are you? In order to Doken Waken him um, from level 14, strongest under the heavens. Uh, all the medals are available here, but it's very difficult to get the right ones to drop from here because all of them from that event are available. Uh, I would recommend bringing an AOE if you need to in order to get that done because you're going to need to go up against an AOE or a full four team and then go up against Majin Buu. Actually, all of them together. Uh, five of them all together. So it's definitely a pain in the butt. Once you do that, you also need to go into the Vegeta, the Indomitable Warrior. You need to go ahead and get the Balma medals from level three. Uh, you're going to need seven of each of these, by the way. Um, so you're going to get that from there. Uh, and then you're also going to need the Beerus medals. The Beerus medals now are going to be available from Baba's shop. In order to go there, you're going to need to go over here and get the pudding from stage two. You're going to have to get a whole bunch of puddings, go into the Baba shop, purchase seven of the Beerus medals. Once you purchase seven of the Beerus medals, then you could finally Doken Awaken him. I know, such a pain in the butt to get him Doken Awaken 2 LR. It's, it is easy because it's a lot of events. I mean, the, the hardest event that you're going to have to go up against is the Doken event. And that is so old in the meta that you, if as long as you have any of the newer leaders, you should be fine and take it on without any problem. So once you get him Doken Awakened from there, he's going to become the LR Beerus and Whis card. Uh, he is now super strength type, key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 100%, extreme tech type, or extreme strength type, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 70%, super attack is power flick, 12 to 17 key, and god of destruction's edict, 18 plus key. Uh, the seven, 12 to 17 key is colossal damage, recover 7% HP. And the God of Destruction's Edict, the 18 plus key, is going to be Mega Colossal with 12% HP recovery. Passive skill, Decision of Destruction. Attack plus 80%, Attack and Defense plus 60% for 5 turns after receiving Attack. Really good when you consider the, the, the actual Colossal and Mega Colossal damage modifiers there. He also gains Legendary Power, everything else is the same. Categories are Realm of Gods, Movie of Bosses. Max stats are going to be HP of 16,688, Attack of 14,425, and Defense of 11,250. Uh, max base stoop system is 18.6 for HP, attack of 16.4, and defense of 13.2. And if you had any dupe system, bottom right, top left, um, I would actually honestly consider doing uh, TUR first for linking buddy. Uh, if you get two of them, so you have one TUR and then one LR together, and then bottom right, then then bottom right of the TUR, then top left of the LR, then top left of the TUR, and go in that order. Again, my recommendation, if you don't want to use the TUR because you want you don't mind using the other Beerus's, I think the only other Beerus, if you're going to see later in, in the video that I have releasing later on today, it's going to be a, a Beerus, an LR Beerus and Whis uh, team building guide or linking guide. And pretty much what's going on with that is uh, after you get the bottom right, top left, you're, you're going to want to go bottom left. And that's specifically because of the HP regeneration. Bottom left increases health uh, and, and automatically will, by default, increase your HP regeneration because you can select more of the orb collection or the orb healing. So that way, the more, the, the more of the same color orbs you get, the more heal that happens. So not only will you get the HP regeneration from the passive skill on here on his super attack, you'll also get it just from collecting the same orbs. And his defense stat is actually really high. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, 12 key multipliers, 150%, 24 key multipliers, 200%. Maximum super attack level is 20, which increases super attack multiplier by additional 30%. And the additional attack and defense boost is calculated separately for a total of attack plus 188% for five turns. And it will reactivate after the, the attack and defense plus 60% has been removed after five turns. We'll reactivate again after he's been tacked again. Again, probably best chance to have him in the first link slot for him to get to get that actual boost. Uh, if not, then it's gonna you're gonna waste the turn. Uh, my just my opinion on the matter. One other thing I forgot to mention um, with the Beerus card, you do have, there is another Beerus that is available. I think yeah, it's gonna be we can find him from here. It's this TSR. He is semi farmable, so this is a more common pull from uh, banners. It's the SR Beerus. You can get a whole bunch of these. I kept them all all of mine for the uh, all the other Beeruses that I had, and uh, you could you just Z awaken them to. Give a 50% chance if you really are free to play and you're willing to do the grind. You can go here. You can get three. It's three medals um, to Doken Waken him. Get him to SSR and then you could Z Awaken him to um, Ultra Rare. He's a Z Awakened uh, SSR card. Uh, that way you get the 100% increase of the Beerus card. So if you're looking to do it free to play, that's probably going to be the best way for you to do it. Um, but outside of that, guys, that's pretty much it. I do like the card. It's pretty awesome. That is how you get him from SSR to LR. Hope that was informative. Please let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions. 
And um, thank you guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'll catch you all later. Peace.